What's up YouTube? Today we're going to review the Netgear Nighthawk AX4 4 stream Wi-Fi 6 router also known as Rax40. First we're going to take a look at it, talk about some of its features, and show you how to connect this device without the headache. So if you're in the market for a newer router or just interested in the newest era of Wi-Fi, stick around. Here it is, in all its glory, the Netgear Nighthawk Rax40. This is a great router, but it's a little pricey. I paid 200 bucks for mine, and let me tell you, you get what you pay for. Just listen to what you get with this router. For starters, you get the latest Wi-Fi 6 technology. The gigabit Wi-Fi on this router performs four times better than its predecessor. If you love your 4K content and gaming, the Rax40 is a great choice. And of course, it's backwards compatible with older Wi-Fi standards. Also, you get a fully offloaded dual-core CPU to handle whatever you throw at it. It has OFDMA for faster Wi-Fi, and you can connect up to 16 devices. And on top of all of that, it has USB 3.0 for faster streaming of you know your stored media and it supports voice control by Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant. I mean, what more can you ask for out of a router? So let's take a look at it. Alright, there it is. It has two antennas. My older router had three antennas but the range on this is way better so number of antennas does not matter I do have to point out that these antennas are not replaceable like a lot of routers out there you can actually replace the antenna you cannot on this so that is a con let's take a look at the back side of it we've got our on and off switch there's our power Here's our internet, four ethernets, here's our USB 3.0, here's our well, reset, you can stick a toothpick in there and reset your router if you'd like, and it has LED on and off switch right here. So pretty basic, it's what you're used to, same setup, just newer technology. Now when you get it, you're going to get in the box, you're going to get the router, the power brick, um, an ethernet cord, and some literature. Update the firmware. Install your router using the Nighthawk app, then follow these instructions to update your router's firmware. And then it tells you how to do so. But the Netgear app is actually really easy to find and get and install on your phone. When you first get your router, there will be a plastic over this. And you should have this sticker, play. it should be right around here. So you just it scan the QR code with your phone and you can download the app. And we're going to jump into that right now. Alright, now that you have your phone in hand, Let's go to the Play Store. And let's look for the Netgear app. Netgear. And right at the top you'll see Netgear Nighthawk. Click that. And here it is. So go ahead and hit install. Alright, once installed, open it up. Agree to 
see the terms and conditions. Allow it. And let's get started. Now you have to create an account in order to use this. So create account. Fill in all of this data and hit continue. And that'll make an account for you. But since I already have an account, I'm just gonna log in. And once you have that entered, hit log in. I'm just gonna hit maybe later. Select yes. Wi-Fi router. And it says scan the QR code on the Nighthawk device. And you can hit enable camera and scan. And scan that sticker that I showed you earlier. So hit enable camera and scan. Give it permissions. connecting to router. The Nighthawk app uses Wi-Fi and I can't use Wi-Fi while I'm casting so unfortunately I can't show you the interface of the Nighthawk app but it's really simple just follow the step-by-step -step directions and you'll get it done and when you're done with that I'm going to show you how to connect to your router through your PC and we're going to jump into that next. If you finish setting up the Netgear app and can't connect to the internet, there are two things to keep in mind. One, this router takes a long time to connect and two, you might have to contact your internet service provider. So do yourself a favor, if you tried to connect several times and failed and just can't figure out why it won't connect call your internet service provider and ask them to do a modem reset. If you're lucky your provider will have an automated call system if not you're gonna have to wait and talk to a representative. Now that we got that out of the way a lot of people think that you can't access the router through a PC and that's just not true. All you gotta do go to your file browser scroll down to network and right here Rax 40 just double click and enter your credentials that you set up on the Netgear app and it's that easy you're in you can do everything in here that you could do on the phone and more I believe so in the end this router has three cons that I can think of one you can't change the antennas if they break two takes a long time to connect three you most likely have to call your ISP and ask them to reset your modem but all in all this is a great router you get your money's worth with this product and yes, I would definitely recommend this to a friend. Well, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, have a tech day.